can you hear me you're good acha you can you're talking on everybody's behalf sachin we are good <clears throat> I'm good, man. Uh, yeah, so I'm here with you guys in the session. So I always wanted to teach. Uh, this is something personal. I always wanted to teach. It is just that uh, I tried te teaching in a. in an ngo uh, learn empower uplift elio foundation and i used to take uh, classes for maths and uh, used to teach uh, under privileged children at that time so yeah there is just one teaching experience i had beyond that uh, like i never got a chance to teach but yeah i think this is a good platform for me to even teach you guys It's nine ten already. Uh, it's five people on board. Okay, never mind. We can uh, get started. So uh, you had a class related to budget, uh, I think yesterday. So uh, like, so Umesh sir uh, would have taken it. Uh, but then, do you have any doubts? You want to discuss about something uh, related to budget? No questions. Okay. Do you know the difference between sets and surcharge? Anyone? Okay. So sets is something that is a temporary levy. Uh, it's like a temporary tax that the government. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. temporary uh yeah this is meant for uh, raising funds as uh, ankit is saying temporary it's a temporary charge that is levied it's an indirect tax um kind of tax only and uh, yeah both of them are taxes uh, yes sachin both of them are taxes but yeah so cess is something that is temporary it is used to raise a fund Uh, as you had pointed out, as Ankit has uh, pointed out, uh, yeah, it is definitely uh, collected by central government. That is also correct. Raise funds. For example, you have the Krishi Kalyan says, you must have seen this. So whenever you next go to a restaurant, just try to check what all taxes have been levied. Uh, it will be a good, you know, just try to understand how the overall amount has been calculated. It'll be and just try to understand like so. There'll be two sets there: Krishi Kalyan set and uh, this uh, Swachh Bharat set. Swachh Bharat set. So set is like a temporary uh, temporary levy and uh, yeah, uh, road set has been introduced uh, in this particular budget. That's correct again. Uh, it's good that you know about all these things. So to build the roads, actually, uh, so Krishi Kalyan set is uh, when the government wants to actually. take up activities related to farmer welfare so they'll be levying uh, krishi kalyan says to take up projects related to swachh bharat uh, uh, swachh bharat says has been levied and uh, it is just 0.5% uh, it is not a lot again this is also i think 0.5% and uh, road says i don't know what exactly is the amount road says is definitely uh, when the government is uh, willing to you know uh, take up the uh, uh, making of roads uh, as a making of road okay ro Rupees eight. Okay, making roads is actually a priority for the NDA government that happens every time, and uh, so they have a particular target in mind. Usually, uh, say if they want to create a corpus of say rupees fifty thousand crores, so they will uh, calculate. They will collect this cess till the time this fund is made, and once uh, this amount is reached, uh, they will discontinue uh, having this cess. And the government does usually make an announcement that okay, we want to discontinue this particular cess. surcharge is usually tax on tax i think i discussed this uh, even last time so tax on tax means uh, you already have say some portion of tax say 10% so uh, surcharge usually comes for people who have uh, you know incomes greater than uh, 50 lakhs so 
uh, they are you know already being charged at 30 percent but then uh, surcharge means that uh, they were charged in addition to this 30 percent so whatever 30 percent is there they are supposed to pay tax uh, up to a certain uh, limit uh, over and above this 30 percent so if somebody is getting say uh, one crore as the uh, salary so 30 percent straight away goes to, goes to government and in fact it is more than 30 percent so depending on whatever is the surcharge rate they can actually uh, depending whatever is the surcharge rate uh, uh, that particular amount uh, gets added onto a time yeah so surcharge is a tax on tax and this is more of a permanent uh, feature unlike cess and uh, this is like a direct tax so cess is like an indirect tax uh, whatever you're buying uh, Cess will be levied on that. Krishi Galangi, you're going to a restaurant, you're buying something, say, from uh, Reliance uh, Digital or Reliance Fresh, uh, or maybe a Walmart uh, store or uh, any other so store. Uh, so there you will find that this Krishi Kalyan says, Swach Bharat says, Road says, you know, these are all indirect taxes. They're not a part of the GST. They're different from that. Okay. And uh, yeah, so Cess and such on. Uh, okay, so uh, in GST, uh, we had covered, uh, uh, you know, all the portions uh, like related, like whatever was relevant, I had covered it. So do you have any doubts in GST uh, as such? There was one thing that I uh, couldn't do it on that particular day, input tax credit. If you have any doubts, you can uh, post it. Input tax credit is essentially, so I had talked about the supply chain, a very simple supply chain. There's a manufacturer, there is a, so the, he'll be getting raw materials from somewhere. And like this is a manufacturer. And then there is a, a, a distributor or a wholesaler. And uh, from there it goes to retailer. And uh, from here it goes on to the consumer. So input tax essentially, input tax credit essentially means that uh, <clears throat> So uh, GST is a destination based tax, uh, I uh, talked about it. So for this particular level, for example, from raw material to uh, the manufacturer, the GST has to be paid by the manufacturer. He okay, not the person who is supplying the raw material. So essentially uh, raw material will cost say uh, 3,500, 3,500 bucks and uh, whatever GST is calculated say at 5%. 5% GST is calculated, 2.5% goes to state and 2.5% to center. So out of this 35%, uh, essentially the GST has to be paid by the manufacturer, not the person who's supplying the raw material. So it is like the the buyer has to pay the tax, right? Unlike the uh, unlike what it used to be earlier for VAT. So VAT also used to take place at all the levels because every time there is a validation taking place, you have to give VAT. But then that was the raw material supply would have paid the VAT in that case, uh, in the transaction between raw material provider and the manufacturer. But uh, in the case of GST, it is the manufacturer who's providing the, uh, who's, who has to give the GST. So for example, uh, GST on this uh, is say 35 on this, uh, 3500 is say 350 rupees, right? And once uh, he's doing some kind of value addition, uh, he's selling the same stuff at 5,000 bucks. Right, and uh, say on that the GST again is 10%, so it becomes 500 bucks. So input tax credit essentially means that uh, uh, he has to pay a difference of these two amounts. So he doesn't have to pay 350 uh, uh, rupees. He, uh, so the GST that he has to pay is <clears throat> at this particular step, you know, the different, uh, the, the GST that was there, the transaction that happened between manufacturer and uh, the distributor, the GST, the price of the items was this GST at 10% would have meant uh, 500 bucks. So that means that 150 had to be paid by uh, the manufacturer to government. Similarly, if the distributor is there and distributor is say uh, doing some value addition and uh, he's selling it off at say 6,000 bucks and again the GST here <coughs> is 10%, then uh, uh, so GST effectively becomes 600 here. So the difference here is uh, 100 bucks. So the distributor has to effectively pay a GST of 100 rupees to the government. All right. So this is about input tax credit. 
uh, and I hope you uh, know about the cascading effect. I hope there is no problem over there. Yeah, CGST, yeah, the same component. So when I say that, okay, uh, if meant 10%, it would have meant that 5% is state and 5% is center. Okay, so it means that 100 rupees from 50 rupees is CGST and 50 rupees is SGST. So input tax graded, when we are talking about it, then that is uh, for central, it means that it will be 50 and state will be 50 rupees. They both are different. But yeah, I mean, the government effectively is 100 rupees, so that's what I was trying to say that input tax credit is like 100 bucks you are, you know, paying to the government instead of say 500 or whatever 600. You are paying the difference. The next step to versus this. Okay. Okay. Uh, evolution. So you know about the journey of GST. I hope you will be able to, uh, you know, write write down a few things when it comes to GST now. So you know about the components, CGST, SGST, IGST, how it is being calculated, and uh, what all taxes it has uh, subsumed. So if you are supposed to write something on GST, so you talk mm -hmm. about this, that okay, first July say implement to Watha, and uh, the next point you can talk about the components, CGST, LGST, IGST, you can define about these three things. These are quick pointers, I'm just telling you. Okay, then you can always talk about the advantages. Advantages yeh hai ki matlab cascading effect hata diya, rationalization kar diya prices ka to consumer ko in, in the end it has to pay lesser prices. And uh, uh, rationalization ke alawa tumhara uh, online hum usko de rahe hain, thik hai, online de rahe hain. E-commerce ke liye bhoja ta streamline hain processes uh, GHT ke. And uh, one nation, one tax, we can talk about the economic, common economic market that I talked about in the last class. Thik hai, disadvantages you can always say that uh, bara, Returns जो हैं file करने थे हर बंदे को ठीक है and plus enrollment वगैरह का जो trouble है वो सब but the point is again that uh, like so you have to do a critical analysis so we had talked about this thing in the very first class that what is critical analysis you have to talk about both the negative aspects as well as the positive aspects this is very important uh, so you don't just highlight the positive aspects of it or you don't just highlight the negative aspects of it you try to talk about uh, things that are in balance. So you have to talk about this thing that Abhi, people are facing a lot of problems because there is a bureaucratic, uh, um, bureaucratic, uh, you know, issues uh, that people have to file returns time and again. So that is a big problem. So you can talk about bureaucratic problems and uh, uh, what else? What are the negatives of GST? GST, so you can also say that uh, a lot of states are, uh, you know, having this, uh, yeah, you can also say that, uh, you know, a lot of products are not uh, under GST and a lot of states uh, are ending up on the, this thing, overall revenue collection where that has also been hit. So in direct tax, I suppose, 100 rupees are 90 rupees, are 75 rupees are here. So uh, you can talk about that also. Uh, this will, of course, be uh, normalized in times to come. 100 rupees, if it was so with GST, this is going to become 125. So that is definitely a benefit but right now when we are saying that our fiscal deficit hai, that has become 3.5 percent the projected was 3.2 percent fiscal deficit is important of that because we have a lot of you know rating agencies and uh, you know the volume of things that we can borrow so there are a lot of things they say for a uh, market economy like us okay so they don't just rely on the taxes that are paid by people they rely on a lot of external commercial borrowings. They take a lot of money. The U.S. Uh, government takes up a lot of money from, uh, you know, uh, outside. And there are a lot of money that is uh, raised from uh, in the stock markets, uh, primary markets as well as secondary markets. So a lot of money comes that way. And U.S., you know, uh, United States as an economy uh, definitely enjoys a very good credit rating. You know, you must have heard about rating agencies like Moody's, Standard & Poor. And you, have, you must have heard about Fitch. Okay, so these are the rating agencies. They determine the country's sovereign uh, rating. And sovereign rating, once they determine, uh, once the sovereign rating is there, uske baad se, then they, uh, uske se aapki bond ki jo yield hoti hai, that is decided. So jo effectively interest, aap wo kar sakte. and the, also the quantum of money that you can raise. Okay. Fiscal deficit, I'm telling you, fiscal deficit is important hai. because uh, you have a lot of, you know, uh, sovereign rating is decided on the basis of the, all these 
माइक्रोकोनॉमिक पैरामीटर्स पैरामीटर्स एंड फिजिकल डेफिसिट इज डेफिनेटली वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर्स सो उसमें ऑल दीस रेटिंग एजेंसीज दे क्लासिफाई यूएस इकॉनमी एज से आई डोंट नो द करंट रेटिंग ए ए ए होगा उनका आई थिंक ए ए ए होगा या ए माइनस होगा या बी ए इस तरह से कुछ होगा रेटिंग जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल इंडिया का अभी करंटली बी 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 था एंड इट वाज स्टेबल इन द लॉन्ग इन द मीडियम टर्म ठीक है दैट्स व्हाट द रेटिंग दैट वाज गिवन टू इंडिया सम टाइम बैक बाय मोदी and that's a very good thing because uh, that that will help uh, indian government to not just rely on uh, taxpayers money not just the taxes the direct and indirect taxes that we are talking about but they can also take up a lot of money uh, you know at good terms jo bond yield hoga uska jo bhi bond matlab hamara jo sovereign bond hoga waisa india ka there is no sovereign bond right now but then suppose indian government uh, goes to the market to raise money and it is it issues a lot of uh, sovereign bonds तो उसका जो बॉन्ड ये लोग दैट विल बी वेरी गुड बिकॉज ऑल दीज रेटिंग एजेंसीज मोडी स्टैंडर्ड इन पुअर एंड फिच जो है दे वुड हैव गिवन अ गुड रेटिंग टू इंडिया सो एंड आल्सो द क्वांटम ऑफ मनी दैट इंडिया कैन रेज फ्रॉम ओवरसीज मार्केट्स दैट विल बी दैट कैन बी हायर एंड इंडियन गवर्नमेंट विल नॉट जस्ट हैव टू रिलाई ऑन टैक्सेस सो दैट इज वाई दीज माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक पैरामीटर्स आर दैट मच इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है ना तो फिजिकल डेफिसिट हमारा इंक्रीज करा है क्योंकि वी आर स्पेंडिंग मोर वी आर हैविंग अ लॉट ऑफ स्कीम्स व्हिच रिक्वायर अ लॉट ऑफ यू नो एक्सपेंडिचर रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर सो दैट इज वेयर द प्रॉब्लम कम्स दैट फिजिकल डेफिसिट इज दैट्स व्हाई वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मतलब 3.2% जो हमारा रोड मैप बनाया गया था उसके अंदर 3.2% होना चाहिए था बट राइट नाउ इट हैज हिट 3.5% एंड दैट डायरेक्टली हैज अ बियरिंग ऑन रेटिंग एजेंसी दैन दिस इज द साइकिल दैट ओके कितना पैसा बोरो कर पा रहे हैं हम लोग so that's where uh, these things are very important so yeah okay so yeah so gst yeah so you can talk about advantage advantages disadvantages and you can also talk about uh, the yeah advantages disadvantages i think this is about eight and you can always uh, write something in conclusion that you know uh, gst is a Uh, thing that is uh, abhi starting mein hiccup ho raha hai it is just like computerization that happened in 1990 and uh, that initially there were a lot of hiccups and uh, people had a bad matlab uh, people had a tough time you know adapting to it but then once they uh, adapted to it then you know india self cell phone story ho sakta hai ya india ka computerization story ho sakta hai we are right now an it power in the world super power in the world so uh, similarly gst abhi initial hiccups hain रेवेन्यू इफेक्ट हो रहा है स्टेट्स का प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है ब्यूरोक्रेटिक होल्डर्स हैं इतने सारे रिटर्न फाइल करने हैं रेट्स का प्रॉब्लम है चार चार रेट पैकेट हैं तो वो सब इनिशियली प्रॉब्लम्स हैं बट वंस यू नो वी आर एबल टू क्रॉस ओवर दिस इनिशियल बम्प देन द रोड अहेड इज वेरी स्मूथ सो यू कैन टॉक समथिंग ऑन दैट शॉर्ट ठीक है सो टूडे विल टॉक अबाउट दिस थिंग i know there are certain topics in economics you know that uh, i have i have to do but yes uh, i think these things are also very important when we are when so i wanted to discuss about demonetization in gst and discuss about certain things stock market be considered uh, definitely uh, so you know um, stock market so when you talk about stock markets okay so there are different uh, dimensions to it okay wait or maybe i'll just i'll just uh, so yeah so stock markets uh, so what essentially is stock market so when you talk about stocks so you're essentially talking about equities right so when you talk about equities uh, you're essentially talking about uh, the companies that are listed on all these exchanges right bombay stock exchange and uh, say national stock exchange these are the two primary exchanges so there are a lot of other uh, exchanges as well there is an overseas exchange 
uh, over the counter exchange of India, there is another one. It's the online hota hai sab kuch trading. So BSE and NSE is hota hai. They are uh, you know BSE is having a market capitalization of one lakh fifty crore, one fifty lakh crores. ठीक है एंड जो अभी रिसेंटली वो हुआ था डाउनफॉल हुआ था मार्केट में उसकी वजह से दिस कैपिटलाइजेशन इज फॉलोइंग टू 148 लाख करोड्स जस्ट इन अ डे और टू आई थिंक दिस हैज हैपेंड तो डेफिनेटली इट इज अ वेरी गुड इंडिकेटर ऑफ द ओवरऑल हेल्थ ऑफ इकॉनमी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट क्लोजली रिजेंबल्स द स्टेट ऑफ इकॉनमी इज द करेंसी ठीक है सो स्टॉक मार्केट्स इज डेफिनेटली वन थिंग Uh, but here's the most important factor that comes closer to uh, any economy is the currency of that economy. मतलब रुपी, how uh, good is it doing uh, vis-a-vis any other, uh, you know, uh, any other currency like it could be yuan, it could be yen, it could be <coughs> it could be dollar, it could be uh, pound sterling, it could be euro. Uh, so all these, in this respect, me kaise kar rahe hain? That is actually uh, indicator. That is actually an indicator of the relative strength of the economies, okay? And day-to-day basis, pe, how the economies are faring. There is another way of comparing, uh, you know, GDP on purchasing power parity. Uh, purchasing power parity is suppose, uh, uh, suppose you want to get a haircut done, okay? If you want to get a haircut done, then how much is the haircut in India? How much is the haircut in the US? How much is the haircut in China? How much is the haircut in China? You can actually compare one particular service. So, purchasing power parity is like uh, the basket of goods and services. So, similar to haircut, there can be number of goods and services, and you can compare uh, those two those things. I'm just trying to explain you that uh, just not stock markets, but uh, you know, lot of so there is a debt market as well. Okay. And in times to come, it is not just the stock market, but the debt market that is going to be very important. Uh, इकोनॉमी में इक्विटी मार्केट हो गया आपका डेट मार्केट हो गया करेंसी हो गया एंड इवेंचुअली द परचेजिंग पार पैरिटी एंड द जीडीपी इन नॉमिनल टर्म्स ठीक है नॉमिनल टर्म्स दीज आर द फैक्टर्स विच एसेंशियली टॉक अबाउट विच इज एसेंशियली टॉक अबाउट दी लेटेस्ट स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ इकोनॉमी ऑन अ डे टू डे बेसिस ठीक है तो पीपीपी एसेंशियली मीन्स दैट बास्केट ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस दैट कैन बी बॉट इन अ पर्टिकुलर कंट्री एट सम रेट एक्स Visa V and other rate Y and how does X fare compared to Y? X is greater than Y and X is equal to Y or X is uh, less than Y, right? So uh, stock markets, uh, uh, um, stock markets. Uh, why exactly it is uh, good for the economy? Because there are a lot of uh, uh, foreign portfolio investors. Okay. who are uh, continuously investing into the economy and how they are exactly uh, investing like whether they are putting the money in or whether they are uh, where whether they are t- taking this out theek hai so uh, that is an indication of you know uh, that is, that determines how much so if they are t- putting in the money that means they are bullish and in that case the stock market is going to go up and if they are taking out the money uh, so us uh, case mein bearish bolte hain and us case mein matlab they'll be selling uh, they'll be shorting a lot of options or you, you can say they'll be selling their uh, you know stocks so in that case uh, it'll be bear run hoga and us case mein stock market girega jaise ye jo abhi hamara ek do din mein gira hai theek hai traditionally what has been happening is uh, the moment indian economy was liberalized in 1991 there were a lot of uh, so that meant that inside these uh, exchanges बॉम्बे स्टॉक एक्सचेंजेस नेशनल स्टॉक एक्सचेंजेस जो भी लिस्टेड कंपनीज होती हैं उनके जो शेयर्स होते हैं ठीक है उनके जो स्टॉक्स होते हैं दैट कैन बी बॉट बाय एफ पी मतलब जो फॉरन पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टर्स होते हैं ठीक है और एफ पी आई इज यूजली जो होता है ना इनका देव समल एज दी हर्ड मेंटेलिटी हर्ड मेंटेलिटी मीन्स दैट दे बाय इन बल्क एंड दे विड्रॉ इन बल्क सो वॉट विल हैव इन इज ऑन वन फाइन डे यू सी दैट सेंसेक्स एज शॉर्ट अप टू थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड पॉइंट एंड दी वेरी नेक्स्ट डे that was because they were buying a lot of stocks okay fpis were buying a lot of stocks and the very next day because of the budget and uh, say because of this provision like the long term capital gains tax so unko lag raha hai ki yaar uh, tax dena padega investment pe uh, jaise uh, investment is counted as a long term capital gain jo bhi aapka return hoga waise hi jo hai us pe tax dena padega and accordingly 
people start withdrawing their money theek hai now uh, what has happened off late is you must have seen you know a lot of advertisement related to you know mutual funds so mutual funds be essentially is uh, is the domestic portfolio investors you can say theek hai jo ab kya hota hai pehle log sirf fd kara lete the apna theek hai bank deposits karate the fd karate the to uh, uh, jo ab hamare domestic log hain uh, people have started earning that much amount of money that they start investing in stocks theek hai and now what is happening is this uh, domestic community of investors jo hai that is actually now closely uh, coming in you know uh, in in value terms they are matching up to this uh, for foreign portfolio investors foreign portfolio investors also matlab it includes all kinds of very little include you know people from us people from china uh, you know people from uh, russia maybe they will be hordes of people will be having a lot of money and because they'll be getting a very good return over the uh, investment that they are making suppose kisi ne ambuja cement mein you know invest kara ambuja cement jo hai agar hamari listed company hai ambuja cement mein usne invest kara and usko suppose us pe 10% return mil gaya kyunki india ke economic parameters jo the wo acche the so that's why they got good return on on this particular investment 100 rupees invest kara aur 110 rupees liya aur uske baad unhone usko sell kar diya theek hai but then when they continue coming in so that is supposed to be good kyunki माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक पैरामीटर जैसे हमने अभी मूडीज और स्टैंडर्ड एंड पुअर एंड फिच के बारे में बात कर रहे थे इफ दे आर गिविंग गुड रेटिंग टू इंडिया देन दैट अगेन इफेक्ट्स यू नो ऑल दीज थिंग्स कि हमारा स्टॉक मार्केट जो है वो ऊपर जा रहा है या नीचे जा रहा है तो देर वॉज अ टाइम वेन द फॉरन पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टर्स वुड यू नो कम इन एंड विदड्रॉ देयर मनी एंड नाउ वट इज हैपनिंग इज जो डोमेस्टिक हमारे इन्वेस्टर्स हैं यू नो पीपल लाइक मी हु who has a portfolio who has certain stocks with him and there are a lot of my friends for example so is tarah ke jo log hain jo ki ab you know 15 lakhs ya 20 lakhs ab earn karte hain and they also invest in stocks and they maintain a portfolio so this uh, indian investment community has now become sizable and because of that now the stock markets are going to be relatively more stable kyunki foreign jaise maine bhi bataya na foreign foreign portfolio investors always have this herd mentality उनको लगेगा कि डॉलर स्ट्रॉन्ग हो रहा है मतलब यूएस इकोनॉमी अगर अच्छा कर रही है तो दे विल विद्रॉ देयर मनी फ्रॉम इंडिया एंड दे स्टार्ट इन्वेस्टिंग इन यूएस ठीक है बट इंडिया का आदमी जो हु इज जस्ट स्टार्टेड टू इन्वेस्ट इन स्टॉक्स सो ही दैट पर्सन इज इन द शॉर्ट टर्म इज गोइंग टू इन्वेस्ट इन इंडिया ओनली मतलब वो जा करके इंटरनेशनल नहीं करेगा ठीक है वो मतलब ही इज नॉट गोन गो टू यू नो गो टू चाइना मे बी टू इन्वेस्ट मे बी सिंगापुर टू इन्वेस्ट वो अपना अमुजा सीमेंट का स्टॉक खरीदेगा और देखेगा उस पर टेन परसेंट रिटर्न आ रहा है या पंद्रह परसेंट आ रहा है एंड बिकॉज सो मेनी पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड यू नो ऑल दीज म्यूचुअल फंड सही है सो वॉट दे आर वॉट द बॉम्बे स्टॉक एक्सचेंज राइट नाउ इज ट्राइंग टू डू इज इट वॉन्ट्स टू इंक्रीज द पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ डोमेस्टिक इन्वेस्टर्स इन टू दी स्टॉक मार्केट्स तो उससे क्या होगा ना कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा जितने ज्यादा लोग खरीदेंगे उतना ज्यादा जो है इट विल बी बेनिफिटिंग मोर एंड मोर पीपल सो द बेसिक पॉइंट इज की Uh, जितने ज्यादा लोग हमारे इंडिया के इंटरनली करेंगे उतना ज्यादा हमारा जो स्टॉक जो जो आपका सेंसिटिविटी इंडेक्स है जो सेंसेक्स है दैट विल बी इम्यून टू एक्सटर्नल यू नो इंटरवेंशन मतलब जो एस का इंटरवेंशन होता था एंड इन अ वे दैट इज इम्प्लाइंग अ स्ट्रॉगर स्टेट ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी ठीक है दिस इज द बेसिक पॉइंट दैट आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू मेक ठीक है दैट Stock markets now has a representation, a, a greater and greater representation. Just a pale, say 10 percent. Tha. So I don't know how much is the domestic uh, investor potential right now, but yes, it is. It has increased a lot. 35 percent. If it has happened, I don't know the exact number, but if it has happened, 35 percent will have happened. So then it becomes immune to the external intervention, external portfolio investors, external uh, FPI or FII. We call them institutional investors. Who are they? Their role is reduced. It will be reduced. and uh, uh, once there is greater and greater participation of indian investors it will definitely add stability to this to the uh, indian stock market and us case mein fir kya hoga ki uh, definitely it will show strengthening of uh, indian economy because uh, stock markets will be less susceptible to vulnerabilities and fir is tarah se is tarah se is tarah ke crash ho rahe hain aise to ye crash to it was very much acceptable ki matlab लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन्स सरकार ने टैक्स लगा दिया वो पूरा पूरा 
populist uh, measure tha and the uh, government wanted to raise some money so that is why it uh, it uh, tax the long term capital gains at uh, you know 10% but the basic essence is that only that jaise jaise hamara domestic portfolio investor jo hai wo strong hota jayega waise waise hamara stock market mein stability aayegi and waise waise it will actually benefit everyone and macro economy terms mein indian economy will be you know seen positively and less dependent on the foreign investors so you can always uh, now say that you know it is a very good thing for the indian economy and uh, stocks mein jitne zyada log invest karenge utna zyada sahi rahega and also debt markets are also you know secondary markets are coming into picture debt markets is i'll take this up sometime later debt markets mein ab uh, jo debt fund hote hain in sab mein debt fund mein and uh, you know ab jo bond market hai that is becoming very strong so this is like the primary market stock market direct investment bond market is you know the secondary market that is coming into picture jo piche underwriting chal rahi hai about different instruments so uh, bond market is also standing a lot and uh, in times to come it will be uh, better to look at the debt market rather than just the stock markets to look at the overall you know state and condition of indian economy so it's a good thing matlab jab domestic hamare investors zyada ho rahe hain and uh, you know once you start earning you should also buy stocks so when everybody buys stocks nobody is a loser everybody is a winner that way and you know pata hai why the one of the reasons why you know india did not go to uh, war with china was uh, that this thing matlab uh, i got to know this thing from a very senior air force person uh, who retired recently uh, doklam crisis jab ho rahi thi tab uh, there was a lot of internal pressure from uh, to the chinese government from the people who were you know investing in indian stock markets so had there been war to kya hota definitely uska impact dikhta hai yaar is pe ki matlab war would have meant uncertainty and uncertainty definitely would have, would mean ki hamara jo stock market hai would have fallen stocks would have taken a plunge in that case theek hai and us case mein jo chinese investor community hai na kyunki china mein bhi ab ye ho raha hai that you know their growth their growth has started to enter into a phase where there is a stagnation and it's very difficult to you know come out of this matlab i will not be surprised in the next 10 years china will undergo the recession as well because now they have reached the saturation point in terms of exports and now they are solely relying on a consumption base of themselves matlab jitna paisa wealth earn kar liya hai now they trying to create avenues jo humne obor hum dekhte hain one belt one road initiative where they are trying to link the western part of china uh jo hai with the uh, you know europe and central asia and uh, middle east and even india pakistan gwadar port ke bare mein suna hoga aapne pakistan ka so china is trying to you know big way doing this but then uh, to create avenues of growth for itself to become rich <coughs> chinese investors had been since the last 5 10 years they have been investing big time in indian stock markets and had there been a war between even a short term war yeah they are investing in pakistan as well but not to not to an extent because pakistan is still not a very uh, stable economy so uh, india definitely on the contrary is a you know fastest growing economy and all that you know hoopla all around so uh, it's very much favorable for a chinese investor to in, invest in india and had india gone to a war then this particular chinese uh, investment community would have suffered a lot and they of course pay a lot of taxes in china when they when they uh, and they must be doing a lot of yahan se return milega to wapas china mein invest bhi karte hain so isliye uh, that is why one of the major reasons why india, india did not go to war with china was uh, the chinese investment community so you know when economics so always matlab ye hota hai ki economics jo hota hai na the rules the rules matlab kuch bhi hoga na aapka any and you talk about any religious issue you talk about any political issue you talk about any uh, geopolitical issue just like a war or something agar economical factor aa jayega na wahan pe to kabhi war hogi nahi matlab agar religion mein bhi agar economics aa jayega na to wo wali side benefit mein rahegi jo economics mein matlab uske invest kar rahi hai matlab money rules the rules matlab this is the trend now that you know people are more concerned about their money rather than foolish things like you know going to a war or maybe doing some kind of religious thing okay so demonetization uh why did demonetization take place uh terrorism 
ठीक है काउंटरफिट करेंसी ब्लैक मनी राइट विल कम टू दैट व्हाट इज एक्चुअली ब्लैक मनी व्हाट इज व्हाइट मनी विल कम टू दैट व्हाट एल्स कुड बी द रीजन व्हाई डिड द गवर्नमेंट गो फॉर दिस करप्शन यस okay so this is the hidden reason uh, up elections this is not coming here this is side mein uh, the real reason was politics of course uh, up elections around the corner and uh, cashless economy is one of the major uh, takeaways but cashless economy was not the real motive uh, when the government wanted to you know go ahead with uh, demonetization cashless economy because yaar nahi soch sakte matlab seriously no नो गवर्नमेंट वुड हैव थॉट दैट फॉर की यार कैशलेस इकोनॉमी हो जाएगी नो वो तो जब लगा दिया कि हाँ चलो डिमोनेटाइज कर दिए पांच सौ हजार के नोट उड़ा दिए तो इसलिए हाँ हम कैशलेस इकोनॉमी करना चाह रहे थे इसलिए यू नो वी वेंट हेड विद दिस थिंग बट रियल रीजन वॉज ऑफकोर्स दिस नॉट टेररिज्म नॉट काउंटरफिक करेंसी नॉट ब्लैक मनी रिमूवल नॉट करप्शन देखो अगर करप्शन कम करना होता ना तो अब तक लोकपाल बना दिया होता ठीक है वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड करप्शन अगर कम करना होता ना हमारी गवर्नमेंट को तो लोकपाल अभी तक बना दिया होता लोकपाल नहीं बना मतलब गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट सीरियस फॉर करप्शन ब्लैक मनी अगर करना होता ना तो अब तक यू नो व्हेन यूएस हैड अ रिसेशन ठीक है एंड दे वर ऑफ कोर्स लुकिंग फॉर मनी तो यूएस ने लिटरली स्विटरलैंड को आर्म ट्रेस्ट करा था उस समय ठीक है कि तुम हमें जिन जिन लोगों ने टैक्स इवेट करके अपने तुम्हारे स्विस बैंक अकाउंट्स में डाल रखा है ना पैसा उन सब की लिस्ट दो एंड लिटरली स्विटरलैंड हैड टू बाउ डाउन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यूएस एंड इट हैड टू गिव अवे दैट लिस्ट एंड इवेंचुअली यूएस ने जो जो लिस्ट में नाम थे ना लोगों के इट नॉट ओनली जस्ट टू कोवर द बैंक अकाउंट्स ऑफ दोज पीपल इट एक्चुअली यू नो सीज द अकाउंट्स ऑफ दोज पीपल इन विद इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स विद इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स भी उन लोगों का बैंक अकाउंट जो है सीज कर लिया था यू नो इफ द गवर्नमेंट वॉज वेरी सीरियस अबाउट यू नो टैकलिंग द ब्लैक मनी प्रॉब्लम ऑल्सो इट वुड हैव एक्चुअली डन समथिंग टू जैसे अभी हमने सिर्फ एक इन्फॉर्मेशन शेयरिंग अग्रीमेंट जो है शेयर करा मतलब स्टार्ट करा कि हाँ हम लोग यू नो वेरी फ्रेंडली टर्म्स में विल स्टार्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन शेयरिंग एंड दैट टू आफ्टर पर्टिकुलर डेट आई थिंक ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन का अप्रिल था ऐसा कुछ था कि उसके बाद करेंगे बट जो बड़ी मछली है जिसके ऑलरेडी पैसे पड़े हुए हैं यूएस ये आपके स्विस बैंक अकाउंट्स में उनका तो मतलब 1947 से लेकर के 2015 तक पता नहीं कितना करोड़ रुपया है ठीक है एंड देन देर आर नॉट ऑफ शेल कंपनीज विच पीपल लॉन्च इन से कंट्रीज लाइक मोरिशियस एंड वहां से ये जो ब्लैक मनी टैक्स इवेट करते हैं इंडिया से स्विट्जरलैंड में टैक्स इवेट करके पैसा डालते हैं उसके बाद शेल शेल कंपनी खड़ी करते हैं और शेल कंपनी से वापस इंडिया में इन्वेस्ट कर देते हैं ठीक है तो दिस इज लाइक द साइकिल ब्लैक मनी साइकिल तो वो था इन काउंटरफीट करेंसी यू नो यू नेवर नो हाउ मच दूर दूर तक कुछ लेना नहीं था मतलब जम्मू एंड कश्मीर में यू नो थिंग्स बट यह काउंटरफीट करेंसी कुड बी वन रीजन मेन रीजन वाई डिमोनिटाइजेशन है बट डेफिनेटली उसको सडनली करने का ना ओवर नाइट करने का कोई रीजन नहीं होना था मतलब द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वॉज द सडननेस ऑफ द इवेंट कि भाई 8 नवंबर को बोल दिया मोदी जी ने आपकी टीवी में कि भाई तुम्हारे 500 और हजार के नोट गए 12 बजे के बाद खत्म मतलब वो पानी है पैसा तो सडननेस जो होता है ना उसका तो उसमें दैट थिंग गुडा बीन अवॉइडेड मतलब जैसे आपने आपका जो यूरो जो करेंसी है ना उसके अंदर भी आई थिंक फाइव यूरो का या टू यूरो का जो नोट जो था उन्होंने जब डिमोनेटाइज करा तो दे एक्सटेंडेड दैट थिंग फॉर लाइक नियरली सिक्स मंथ्स मतलब उन्होंने छह महीने का टाइम दिया था एंड दे इन्फॉर्म एवरीबडी इन एडवांस प्रॉपर मीडिया में इन्फॉर्म करा सबको कि दैट वी आर डिमोनेटाइजिंग वी आर रिमूविंग दिस पर्टिकुलर करेंसी आउट ऑफ सर्कुलेशन सो यू गॉट टू गो टू द बैंक एंड यू वट एवर अमाउंट यू हैव यू टेन टू गेट इट यू नो मतलब उसको रिप्लेस करा लो द मेजर रीजन वट आई सी इज डेफिनेटली यू बी इलेक्शन नो बडीज नॉट अबाउट इट ओवर नाइट यू नो पीपल लाइक आपका समाजवादी पार्टी एंड बहुजन समाज पार्टी एंड यू नो कांग्रेस इवन आम आदमी पार्टी फिट वुड हैव इन थिंकिंग की यूपी में कंटेस्ट करना है उनका जो जितना भी उन्होंने पैसे होर्डिंग कर रखी थी ना ऑल ऑफ दैट वॉज नल एंड वाइड इन वन डे ठीक है एंड ऑफकोर्स बीजेपी वॉज इन पावर सो इट कुड एक्चुअली क्रिएट द रिजर्व इन फिफ्टी या हंड्रेड रुपीज के नोट्स में 
एंड वंस डिमोनेटाइजेशन वाज डन इनके तो पैसे गए सो एंड दैट इज वेयर यूपी वाज वन ठीक है बाय बीजेपी सो दिस इज लाइक द अनऑफिशियल ऑफ कोर्स नोबडी इज गोना टॉक अबाउट इट बट या दैट इज द प्रिसाइज रीजन एंड इट्स ऑल इज फेयर बट द ओनली थिंग इज दैट यू नो पीपल लाइक यू एंड मी पीपल लाइक कॉमेडी पीपल लाइक अस वी हैड टू एंडियर अ लॉट ऑफ हार्डशिप्स टू गेट द मनी बिकॉज uh and uh, even rbi ka jo bhi recent wo jo aaya usme they are saying that 99% of the demonetized currency uh, you know that came back yes that's a fact that we had to suffer uh but then uh, still you know still you are going to go and vote for modi in 2019 you know that is the thing we cannot do much <laughs> we have to modi is the best uh tina no strong opposition yeah okay so politics apart uh uh so what are the some of the initiatives you can talk about that okay okay these are the uh, technically when you have to suppose write in an essay or something yeah there is no alternative of course uh no strong opposition yeah that's a that's a thing so we cannot do much about it so yeah so terrorism to uh, stop terrorism counterfeit currency black money reduce corruption and create a cashless economy that was that you can cite as the goals of demonetization other steps that have been taken in the direction to curb the corruption was uh, the special investigative team that was formed by the government in 2014 so once the narendra modi government came into power the first order that was passed by um, the government was the formation of a special investigative team uh which uh, the supreme court had said that okay you have to do this uh you have to set up this particular team and uh, you know they will have to do take up certain initiatives to uh to estimate the quantum of black money in the country as well as you know take initiatives to uh, reduce that and as well as jo hamare black money jo bahar stored hai swiss banks mein wo unko aapko lane ke liye us paise wapas lane ke liye this sit was to play a role it is still functional but uh, yeah and it gave a report as well but uh, uska report ka kya hua hai nobody knows then there was this uh, black money and uh, imposition of tax act so essentially uh, this was meant to control all the money laundering and uh, this was essentially the the main uh, you know uh, uh thing by which uh, whatever black money if you are holding then that is uh, you know if you are not paying tax on it then uh, or you, or suppose if you are declaring that particular black money then uh, you have to pay tax at the rate of say 50% or more whatever was the uh, amount set by the government ki agar tumne tumhare paas 50 crore rupaye hai to tum us pe 30 crore declare karo aur uske upar jo bhi whatever uh 30 करोड़ के ऊपर 50 परसेंट कितना हुआ 15 करोड़ तो जो है तुम टैक्स करके और इफेक्टिवली तुम 50 करोड़ जो है डिक्लेयर कर रहे हो तो ऑल दिस अमाउंट शुड गो टू दी गवर्नमेंट सो 50 परसेंट टैक्स और मोर इज द प्रोविजन अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्ट देन यू आर द इंफॉर्मेशन शेयरिंग एग्रीमेंट्स विद कंट्रीज लाइक स्विटरलैंड सो दे डेफिनेटली यू नो गेव आउट द लिस्ट बट दैट लिस्ट हैज नॉट बीन मेड पब्लिक इट इज स्टिल विद दी कोर्ट एंड इट हैज नॉट बीन मेड पब्लिक सो the court knows better what is going on at that front benami transaction act benami transaction act is uh, essentially uh, this is something uh, that was in news recently as well sharukh khan ka ek bangla tha alibaba mein and that has been uh, you know overtaken by the that has been attached by the income tax department uh, enforcement department so uh, benami transaction act essentially uh, talks about this particular thing that you have suppose a property that you had bought in the name of your uh, say parents or uh, if you had bought something in the uh, name of your uh, brother ya phir uh, aapne kuch loan wagaire diya tha parents ko and with that they have uh, bought something so that will be counted as benami effectively that particular thing will be counted in your name theek hai and uh, once a particular property has been declared as a benami property uh, you know that can be attached by the government but the government can overtake it so this is this this act is in a way very draconian uh, because of its uh, you know overarching nature or uh, overpowering nature 
that it can uh, actually go and uh, you know take up any property which, whichever it wants and it's very arbitrarily defined uh, the benami uh, what does exactly benami property means what is exactly a benami transaction means so it is very openly defined okay i mean it has not been defined in very uh, clear terms and because of that uh, the income tax department the enforcement uh, directorate jo hai they can enforce matlab jo bhi interpretation unko lagana hai wo kar dete hain jaise uh, what the standard meaning of this is ki agar aapne apne spouse ya fir apne children ke liye koi property khareedi hai ठीक है सो दैट विल नॉट बी काउंटेड एज बिना वेर एज इफ यू बॉट समथिंग यू नो फॉर एज आई सेट कि अगर आपने पेरेंट्स को कोई लोन दिया है या फिर अपने कोई भाई को बहन को ब्रदर सिस्टर को अगर तुमने इफ यू गिवन सम काइंड ऑफ लोन एंड इन दैट केस एंड इफ दे हैव इन्वेस्टेड इट समवेयर जैसे शाहरुख खान का जो अलीबाग का जो फार्म हाउस था इट वॉज वर्थ लॉर्ड ऑफ कोर्स क्रोर्स एंड ही फर्स्ट दैट पेपर एंड उसको सिर्फ आई थिंक वन फिफ्थ वैल्यू पे उसने खरीदा था एंड हिज ड्राइवर हैड उसके नाम पर कुछ प्रॉपर्टी थी तो इवेंचुअली द गवर्नमेंट एज नाउ यू नो ओवरटेक इन दैट प्रॉपर्टी सेंग दैट दिस वॉज अ बनामी थिंग एंड मतलब इट इज अ पनिशेबल ऑफेंस एंड दैट एंड उसका ऑफेंस यही है कि दैट गवर्नमेंट कैन कीप ऑन ओवरटेकिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रॉपर्टी इसके बियॉन्ड देर इज अ डायरेक्ट टैक्स अवॉइडेंस एग्रीमेंट डी टी ए दैट एज बीन साइन विद कंट्रीज लाइक मॉरिशियस Cyprus and uh, Singapore. Okay, so double taxation avoidance agreement essentially means that. Uh, so these are all countries uh, which are uh, in case of particular terminology, they are called as tax havens. So uh, what happens essentially, just say Panama Papers, maybe your. लीक हुआ था पनामा पेपर्स जिसके अंदर यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड कि नवाज शरीफ हु वाज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ पाकिस्तान ही वाज यू नो कन्विक्टेड एंड ही हैड टू रिजाइन एज ही हैज स्टेप डाउन एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ पाकिस्तान बिकॉज हिज नेम वाज इन पनामा पेपर्स एंड एसेंशियली पनामा पेपर्स वर नथिंग बट यू नो अकाउंट्स ऑफ ऑल दोज पीपल हु हैड सम काइंड ऑफ शेल कंपनीज ऑपरेटिंग आउट ऑफ टैक्स हेवेंस which uh, they had bought or matlab jaise nawaz sharif jo tha he had bought certain companies uh, he was a director of certain companies and those companies were located in these tax havens like mauritius cyprus singapore uh, and you know uh, other other such uh, countries to usme fir hota hai ki uh, in a way he was uh, evading taxes and uh, that was like a offense for even a country like pakistan uh, india ke bhi bahut sare log hain usme panama papers mein i don't know what is going on at uh, that end matlab no news has been coming out but yeah so uh, dta uh, essentially means that double taxation avoidance so essentially that means if somebody is uh, is you know working in mauritius somebody is working in india and dono jagah uski kuch na kuch income hai theek hai dono jagah kuch kuch income hai to double taxation avoidance essentially means that dono jagah usko tax nahi dena padega theek hai when india has you know uh, dta signed with mauritius uh so it means that some individual who has who is earning something in mauritius as well as india he doesn't need to pay taxes at both the ends uh now the catch here was uh, that you know lot of people uh, they would resort to tax evasion how because they will they will you know manipulate their income in india as well as as well as in mauritius so usme kya hota tha ki mauritius se earn kar rahe hain to they will uh, not show that as an income in uh, mauritius india se earn kar rahe hain to india mein bhi dikhayenge aur effectively jo tax jo dono jagah wo de rahe the wo zero tha it was like they were uh, jo initially dta sign hua tha at the time of congress government that was leading to a lot of tax evasion because they had a lot of loopholes and because of that people were saying that okay we don't have an income even in mauritius even in the tax even as well as in india and we don't need to tax either to pay any tax either in mauritius or in india to uski wajah se uh, you know lot of uh, you and cry was there and when narendra modi government came in they uh, redrafted uh, the entire uh, dta agreements and uh, they are in the process of you know signing those uh, agreements again and uh, in a way people will not be able to resort to tax evasion once those agreements are signed so i think that has been done already with mauritius and singapore i'm not sure about uh, cyprus but yeah so dta has been revised and redrafted uh, in these countries उसकी वजह से टैक्स इवेजन हैज कम डाउन ठीक है 
So these are the steps uh, that have been, uh, you know, undertaken by the government uh, to uh, reduce the corruption. Corruption ko reduce karne ke liye. You can actually make a note of this and uh, you can, you know, uh, use it wherever you want to use. Corruption pe agar aise likhne ke liye aagya, corruption pe agar pointers ching hai, toh you can say that, you know, these things have been done already by the government. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the next thing is uh, demonetization ka precedent. Uh, so India demonetization precedents. So India itself has uh, done demonetization once in 1946 and uh, 1978. Uh, definitely even in uh, 2015 whatever demonetization took place, the results say uh, they have not, uh, you know, uh, been up to that mark, whatever was the reason, the rationale that was given. So it would, whether it was a terrorist activity, so terrorism is still going on. It has not stopped, whether it was counterfeit currency, so uh, there is no valid proof right now that counterfeit currency is uh, circulation in India. Mein, even after the huh, new notes are introduced, kind of definitely hota hai ki, jo infrastructure koi create karta hai ki, haan, matlab, wo print kare ja currency. So new notes ki se yoga with new features, so it will be difficult to, you know, uh, emulate, emulate this, uh, these features again and, you know, print the counterfeit currency again. So that way the counterfeit currency ka jo circulation hota hai, wo, that definitely can come down. But again, suddenness of demonetization was not really needed in, even in that case. And gradually uh, new notes could have been in, introduced. Even in 1946 and 1978, uh, uh, you know, whenever demonetization took place, uh, it was not really successful. It did not meet the purpose for which it was meant for. Uh, there are a lot of countries like Ghana, Myanmar, uh, USSR uh, just after its breakup post-1991 uh, and uh, Russia, yeah, Fiji also uh, and there is a list actually. Myanmar, Brazil and uh, even Iraq and North Korea. Brazil, Iraq, North Korea. Okay, and off late uh, Venezuela. Venezuela in 2016, as late as 2016. Singapore has not done demonetization, I think. It doesn't need to do demonetization. Like it's a very strong economy. I'm not really sure uh, where have you read about Singapore, but I think these are the countries who have done demonetization at one point or the other, and in Sabka, different, different purpose. Tha. Somebody wanted to, in Ghana, for example, there was a uh, loss in uh, faith or time currency, so that is why it was done, and uh, Myanmar, mein, uh, it was uh, done to you know, uh, jo black marketing or holding hota hai, usko fight karne ke liye demonetization was done in 1985. And again in 1987, again, black marketing ko rokne ke liye. Mozambique, I'm not really sure about Mozambique again, where demonetization took place. Brazil, uh, it happened uh, because of uh, hyperinflation. Because hyperinflation was the reason. And uh, in Iraq, it was done in 1993. After, uh, you know, uh, Iraqi, after the 1991 war, Iraq-Kuwait war, and uh, because of that, uh, uh, see, currency depreciation is a different thing altogether. Uh, currency depreciation is uh, when, you know, suppose in India, one fine day, what happens is people stop respecting the rupee. See, okay, rupee, bolkar, hum to bol, uh, so the confidence in uh, rupee will go down to such an extent that you know uh, uska utility ho jayega, uski value ho because currency ka jo wo hai na, perceived meaning is uh, you know storage of matlab, uska value store karne ke liye hota hai. Haan, so the, all these things keep happening uh, I'm not sure about Mozambique because I, I haven't read it I need to cross check but yeah, so depreciation ka essentially, so there, is, there are two things. One is devalue, one is devaluing the currency, and one is, you know, depreciating the currency. So uh, the more, uh, the worst thing that can happen to a currency is depreciation. 
devaluation uh, keeps taking place to make the exports competitive theek hai wo central banks jab bhi aapka uh, you know uh, central banks yahan par bhi intervene karte for example chinese yuan so yuan is a very heavily uh, controlled currency and uh, jo chinese central bank hai people people's bank of china bolte hain usko so they keep on devaluing it theek hai so much so that that uh, just to maintain the competitive edge in uh, exports ठीक है मतलब सम सम एस्टीमेट से दैट यूआन इज इवन मोर यू नो वैल्यूएबल देन डॉलर सम एस्टीमेट से इवन दैट एंड वंस दैट हैपेंस मतलब चाइनीज इकोनॉमी वंस दैट करेक्शन टेक्स प्लेस चाइनीज इकोनॉमी विल ओवरटेक यूएस इकोनॉमी यू नो ओवरनाइट एज अ नंबर वन इकोनॉमी बट दे डोंट डू इट बिकॉज एक्सपोर्ट्स में जो कॉम्पिटेटिवनेस जो बची कुची है चाइना की वो चली जाएगी तो दे कीप ऑन यू नो दी वैल्यू यूआन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डॉलर टू मेंटेन दैट कॉम्पिटेटिव एज एंड क्योंकि डेफिनेटली अगर आपका युआन जो है सस्ता है कम्पेयर टू डॉलर तो uh, आपका जो एक्सपोर्ट्स होंगे वो आपके uh, कम प्राइस में ज्यादा वॉल्यूम होगा ठीक है आई होप दिस लॉजिक इज क्लियर मतलब इफ यू आर युआन इज लेस यू नो वैल्यूएबल देन डॉलर यू कैन ऑलवेज योर एक्सपोर्ट्स आर लाइकली टू योर प्रोडक्ट आर लाइकली टू बी चीपर कम्पेयर टू यू नो द प्रोडक्ट दैट इज अवेलेबल इंटरनेशनली सो एक्सपोर्ट्स की वॉल्यूम इंक्रीज करने के लिए एंड टू गेट दैट डॉलर इनफ्लो कमिंग इन बिकॉज वेन यू एक्सपोर्ट समथिंग यू गेट पेड इन डॉलर दैट्स हाउ यू नो यू एस एज यू एस के पास बहुत सारा जो डेट है दैट इज विद चाइना चाइना हैज बीन क्रेडिटिंग यू एस इकोनॉमी फॉर अलॉट ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज यू एस कीप्स बाइंग कीप्स बाइंग कीप्स बाइंग एंड कीप्स अपलाइंग चाइना विद डॉलर 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 तो चाइना एज यू नो ह्यूज फॉरन एक्सचेंज रिजर्व एंड लॉट ऑफ पोर्शन ऑफ दैट इज यू नो तो चाइना डिसाइड्स कि अगर चाइना के पास जितना भी डॉलर है अगर वो उसको पानी में बहा देगा विट गोज इन टू ओशन तो यू एस इकोनॉमी विल बी गॉन ओवर नाइट समथिंग लाइक दैट ठीक है अगर वो उसको आग लगा देगा फिर उसको पानी में बहा देगा तो यू एस इकोनॉमी विल बी गॉन बट इन दैट केस यू एस विल अटैक चाइना एंड देन बी वर्ल्ड वॉर थ्री सो दैट विल नेवर हैपन तो दैट डजन हैपन बट यस दिस टू मेंटेन कॉम्पिटेटिव Yes, uh, in uh, exports, uh, China keeps devaluing the currency, and uh, that is a big problem for Trump also, and for everyone actually, because uh, in that case, that can trigger, you know, if uh, China keeps devaluing the uh, yuan, then India can also start uh, devaluing its rupee to maintain that competitive edge vis-a-vis China, and in that case, uh, you know, somebody like Pakistan also will start devaluing, and you know, it will be a domino effect, and uh, everybody is gonna. Um, कॉन्फिडेंस होता है Uh, because uh, there is a lot of depreciation that happened with the Zimbabwean uh, whatever currency, and then they started using U.S. dollar as the economy. But then that gives uh, the direct control of their economy to U.S. government. So what they have done this time is they have uh, started uh, you know relying on bitcoins uh, for their currency requirements. उसके ऐसे bitcoin में बहुत ज़्यादा November के month में when they adopted this, so bitcoin uh, you know really. Was supposed to reach at ten thousand dollars, but it exceeded fifteen thousand dollars at some point. Eighteen thousand dollars was going on because of this particular fact that Zimbabwe as a country, poorly built country, ne had showed that much, uh, you know, uh, confidence in a uh, in the currency, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. We come to that. Bitcoin we discuss today. So uh, yeah, so yeah, these are the countries that have done, you know, hyperinflation. Ki wajah se they. Have resorted. Argentina at some point of time in 1990s had also, you know, converted entire. of its economy to uh, argentinian peso jo hota hai usko inhone pura pura pack kar diya tha with respect to us economy but they literally given their reins of economy to us government federal reserve ko so but then now they are uh, stable compared to that but yeah these countries were not very good precedents if you want to see that and uh, there was no rational uh, per se uh, even if you see the demonetization that happened in india in 1946 and 1978 because none of them were able to meet the targets that they were intended to 2015 also now we see that Uh, though it is still very early to say, uh, 2015 also the target जो जो हमने चार reasons अभी बताए थे uh, counterfeit currency, black money and all that thing, 
ऑल दैट जैज तो वो सब भी अभी मीट नहीं हुआ है सो इट्स अ डिबेटेबल थिंग वेदर डिमोनिटाइजेशन वॉज सक्सेसफुल एज अ स्टेप ठीक है सो नाउ यू वट आई वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस अबाउट वॉज कैश सो वट डज कैश एग्जैक्टली मीन सो कैश जो होता है सो ऑफकोर्स वी नो हाउ वट डज वाइट मनी मीन एंड वट डज ब्लैक मनी एसेंशली मीन so suppose there is a company you know who is paying uh, its employees in uh, you know uh, monthly jo salary dete hain theek hai to salary jo hota hai uska ek aapka definitely ek uh, wo banta hai invoice banta hai salary slip banti hai theek hai so that particular money will always be considered as a white money theek hai next uh, is uh, something like uh, you know if you are uh, you have taken out some money from atm atm se nikal kar ke ghar mein rakh rahe ho for you know uh, some money is kept in your uh, in your uh, at your home uh, as a part of your savings so even that is supposed to be white money and uh, black money is something like suppose you had to pay a tax of say uh, 100 rupees theek hai but you paid uh, just uh, you you fudged your records you fudged your profits you were running a company you fudged your uh, you know uh, records and you showed your profit to be lesser 50% lesser than what they were एंड फिफ्टी परसेंट तुमने टैक्स जो एवेड कर लिया ठीक है सो दैट पर्टिकुलर मनी दैट इज जो तुमने बचा लिया पचास रुपए के इक्वलेंट जिस पर तुमने टैक्स नहीं लिया दैट इज कंसिडर एज ब्लैक मनी ठीक है दैट इज एसेंशियली कंसिडर एज ब्लैक मनी एंड सपोज यू आर डूइंग ट्रांजेक्शन तुम्हें घर खरीदना था घर तुमने जो है बोला कि मैं एक करोड़ का तुम्हारा घर है उसमें से फिफ्टी लाख जो है फिफ्टी लाख जो है वो वो मैं कैश दूंगा and uh, you know uh, 50 lakh will be in uh, uh in this uh, 50 lakh will be check hoga uska so that jo ye jo cash hoga na so this is also a part of what we call as the black money theek hai so essentially uh, when demonetization happened it considered the problem was that it, it it considered even this particular aspect as you know black so essentially people who had uh, st- stored money uh, with themselves even they had to go to the bank and say that you know we had kept this particular money with us and it was a part of the savings though it got uh, circulated back through uh, the banks and rbi se route karke wapas wo ab logo ke paas aa gaya but then to get this thing done uh, you know to complete the cycle there was a lot of hardships that were faced so black money jo government ne usme define kar diya tha that you know anything that is in cash so that is stand amount to black money so mere ko aisa lag raha tha jaise maine bhi agar apne wallet mein paise rakhe hain to wo bhi black money hai but no that was not the black money uh, that was essentially the uh, you know my savings whatever i had earned whatever i went to work and i earned that money and uh, i got it from my salary with salary and atm se nikala for my day to day use so even that was considered as uh, you know uh, black money for them and government should have actually differentiated the you know these two types of uh, currencies so Essentially, uh, cash का जब मीनिंग हम देखते हैं तो आइडर इट सर्व यू नो टू पर्पज का जो फंक्शन होता है देर इज सो टेक्निकली वेन वी सेर आर वी कैन सी इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स फंक्शन सो फंक्शन कुड बी मीडियम ऑफ एक्सचेंज एंड दी अदर फंक्शन इज एसेंशियली स्टोरेज ऑफ वैल्यू एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दी Uh, what do you call it? The nature. So nature, me, ये ही होता है कि whether it is illicit, illicit money or no. ठीक है. So demonetization when it happened, uh, so it affected all these. Uh, this is like the technical de- definition of money, you can say, or you can say the cash that it serves the two purposes. Either it can be functional value हो सकता है या फिर उसका जो nature हो सकता है that can be illicit or not. So function can be medium or change that you are going, you know. Uh, You you are using this money to buy some food for yourself in a restaurant, or maybe uh, go and pay up your uh, education fee in an institution, or you know medium of exchange. So you are giving some money and in getting something in return. Similarly, you can store money that okay, I have these many savings. कि मैंने दस हजार रुपए जो अपने घर में रखे हैं for emergency purpose, and इस तरह से मैंने value जो है store कर रखा है. So demonetization when it happened, uh, it was not. it did not consider matlab medium of exchange ko bhi kill kar diya usme and uh, storage of value ko bhi kill kar diya so i'm just trying to explain that you know technical terms of the how unsound that uh, decision was 
ठीक है तो इट वॉज नॉट अ वेरी गुड डिसीजन एंड या सो वॉट्स अवर बी द रीजन दैट वॉज साइटेड इट इट हैज नॉट रियली सर्व अपट इट्स पर्पज सो आई माइट बी यू नो मोदी सपोर्टर बट I when I see this thing in hindsight, it was a very big ma- mismanagement uh, that was done. Just to win an election, you cannot put the country, uh, you know, into tantrums, and that to a big country like India. So uh, nature also illicit and not illicit. So again, nature was considered to be that illicit. Yeah, sara ka sara paisa, uh, whatever is outside the bank account, it's illicit. Again, that was a very far to far fetched uh, an assumption. So that was the problem. That it. it crossed over the the basic functional nature of money medium of exchange bhi reh paya wo because we are not able to do any economies and no, no business is taking place and uh, storage of value also uh, everything that i was storing as an income that was you know turned into water overnight pani ban gaya cash jo tha so that was not a it was not a very sound uh, economic uh, decision uh this is about cash and uh, what was basically the impact of uh, demonetization uh so i had read up the economic survey of uh, india and they had used a particular term called as the soil rate theek hai soil rate ka matlab ye hai ki suppose rbi uh, printed a note 100 rupee note theek hai and it went into circulation and then after some time it came back to rbi theek hai the हट के वो वापस आया तो सॉइल रेट इज एसेंशियली कि वो जब जब वेन एवर दिस करेंसी वेंट इन टू सर्कुलेशन देन हाउ मच सॉइल रेट वॉज मतलब हाउ बैड वॉज इट्स कंडीशन वेन इट केम बैक टू आर बी आई तो जैसे वट द स्टैटिस्टिक्स देव गिवन इज दैट लो करेंसी नोट लाइक टेन रुपी नोट फिफ्टी रुपी नोट हंड्रेड रुपी नोट इन सब का जो सॉइल रेट था दैट वॉज थर्टी थ्री परसेंट एंड यू नो Uh, जो आपका 500 हंड्रेड रुपी नोट था उसका सॉइल रेट वॉज ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट एंड जो वन थाउजेंड रुपी था उसका सिर्फ ग्यारह परसेंट ही था सो वट आर बी आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू से वॉट इकोनॉमिक सर्वे वॉज ट्राइंग टू से एसेंशियली वॉज दैट इनका सॉइल रेट इतना ज्यादा कम है सो दैट एसेंशियली मीन दैट दे आर नॉट रियली इन सर्कुलेशन सर्कुलेशन में नहीं है ये नोट्स एंड सर्कुलेशन में अगर नहीं है इट मीन्स दैट दे आर एसेंशियली बींग यूज फॉर स्टोरेज पर्पज मतलब ये होर्डिंग के लिए यूज हो रहे हैं एंड दैट इज नॉट अ वेरी गुड थिंग फॉर दी फॉर अ लार्ज इकोनॉमी लाइक आस एंड दे वर ट्राइंग टू से दैट एसेंशियली दैट मीन दैट होर्डिंग के लिए ही यूज हो रहा है एंड दैट वॉज यू नो नॉट गुड फॉर द इकोनॉमी बिकॉज उससे दैट वॉज लीडिंग टू लॉर्ड ऑफ करप्शन एंड इंटर्न हवाला करप्शन हो रहा था हवाला हो रहा था उससे एंड दैट वॉज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम हवाला इज एसेंशियली मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग कोई भी आपको नोट जो है नहीं मिलेगा so what he was trying to say was that essentially uh, demonetization was a good step because uh, because the currency which was essentially used for storage storage purpose matlab 500 rupees ki jo currency thi which was used for storage purpose and uh, which was definitely being used for illicit activities so that was uh, you know demonetized and uh, that is how it was a good step so this is the justification that is given by the chief economic advisor uh in the economy survey so i thought that i should share this particular fact with you if you want to say anything in support of demonetization this is a very te- technical thing that you can i'm sorry this is the technical thing that you can you know say that soil rate tha and is tarah se it was always going to be used you know for uh, illicit purposes and now we have a 2000 rupee note for example so even that is uh, likely to have a soil rate that is lesser than this and uh, because of that you know uh it is more likely to be used for illicit activities like terrorist financing or you know cash hai usko tum corruption ke liye use karoge that is the justification given by the um by the uh by by the by Arvind Subramanian the chief economic advisor theek hai then uh, they've also talked about uh, when we talk about the impact 
so definitely there have been a lot of you know uh, positive uh, impacts of demonetization uh, when we say the impact so uh, when we talk about the positives of demonetization, we talk about negatives ke mein baat kare because they were largely not able to meet the objectives that they had set, the government had set, whatever objectives it had uh, set. These are all, you know, uh, which were not really considered earlier. Jo positive hum baat kare hai they were not really uh, under consideration. Ki matlab, okay, this is the reason why, yeah, I'm coming to that. So digitalization is one of the things. So this was not really the consideration of the government when demonetization was done. This is just that it has come out of it ki matlab, uh, ho hai. So the first thing is that we see is the uh, tax on black money. Tax on black money essentially means that, okay, somebody was having hordes of cash and they came out in open. Hai, unhane, jo black money and uh, you know, in, uh, imposition of tax act jo 2015 ka. So 50% tax rate karke, a lot of people were able to you know, uh, declare their uh, uh, whatever black money they had stored with them. Usko unhone declare kara pura and uh, they say 50 crore wala example diya tha maine. To usme 30 crore unhone declare kara and they said that we are going to pay a penalty of 15 crores on that. So effectively around 45 crores, something around 33 kar diya na maine ye chudra kar diya. So uh, 50 crores hota wo pura pura unhone declare kar diya. So uh, tax on black money and also if they were not initially paying any taxes then these people have been brought under the tax net. Okay. So earlier they were not paying taxes, so now they have started to uh, pay the taxes. And uh, I think the, the base has been broadened by more than 10%. That is what the economic survey has said. Uh, there was this number. Uh, I'm not able to find this number. Uh, 10% kitna exactly uh, our tax base or direct taxes ki terms may expand away. Uh, uh, I think I had read it 10% uh, in economy survey. I'm not the uh, Kogmini Rai number B. But yeah, okay, so tax on black money was one major thing that happened. Tax uh, on the compliance, tax compliance has also increased. Tax compliance essentially is the same thing only that uh, people who are not really paying taxes or they were hiding it. So tax on black money, so somebody who is declaring the black money, he has been brought under tax net and tax compliance also if somebody was paying taxes and maybe he was evading the taxes, uh, so effectively has been now more regular. More regular in paying taxes. So government can give a lot of excuses that okay, we are gonna uh, collect taxes and you know do this do that but in the end you, if you want to question the government that okay why where are you using my money and paying so much taxes so I cannot go and ask the government ki bhai, where have you used my money I cannot go and ask so you know that is uh, again a thing that you can think about you can ponder on um, you can maybe think about it by tax base bad gaya and tax bad gaya, tax bad gaya, but GST laga diya, indirect taxes bhi formalization ho gaya economy ka, but where, where is the money going? You cannot really ask the comment. Mera tax diya kaha pe, kaha hai ho? Never mind. So, uh, informal savings, that has also been uh, brought under the tax net. So effectively, if you are storing some money in your house, thik hai, jo ki generation by generation jo hai aapka, uh, one generation after the other, somebody was staring, matlab, suppose your grandma was storing some money and then that money was passed on to your mom and, uh, you know, uh, to your, not to the girlfriend, okay. So, uh, yeah, okay, so it was uh, there at your, at your mom's, uh, in your mom's hand and, you know, um, that has now come into the circulation. So, again, informal savings and the taxes on that. So again, that is something that economy service talks talks about that, okay, tax jo hai, informal savings pay jo hai, hamara lag gaya hai. There has been push to the digitalization. There has been a push uh, towards it. I will uh, state some facts related to it. Um, 
प्रोडक्ट दैट अलाउज थ्री फिफ्टी मिलियन फीचर फोन यूजर टू टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ दिंग यूपीआई सो यूपीआई एसेंशियली उसके लिए भीम यू एस एस डी थ्री फिफ्टी मिलियन पीपल स्पेशली दे कैन टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ इट एंड आधार मर्चेंट पे सो इज समी डजेंट हैव अ स्मार्टफोन विद हिम सो आधार मर्चेंट पे इज यू नो अ प्लेटफॉर्म थ्रू अ नॉर्मल सेल फोन थ्री फिफ्टी मिलियन पीपल उनका यूजर बेस को जो है केटर कर सकता है सो दिन अबार मर्चन डे वॉज लॉन्च बाई दी गवर्नमेंट थ्री फिफ्टी मिलियन यूजर्स को एक्चुअली यूज एट सर्विस एट अ टाइम सो दिस इज दी फैक्ट अगेन एंड देन देर आर लॉट ऑफ डिस्काउंट्स दैट आर बींग ऑफर्ड ऑन दी पॉइंट ऑफ सेल मशीन सो यू विल नाउ फाइंड दैट लॉर्ड ऑफ प्लेस योर क्रेडिट कार्ड एंड योर डेबिट कार्ड यूसेज इज यू नो इंसेंटिवाइज so earlier kya hota tha ki incentivized earlier what used to happen was uh, that whenever you used to swipe your credit card and debit card there used to be a lot of tax 2.5% tax laga dete the now a lot of people they charge this 2.5% tax but uh, nobody cross checks this particular 2.5% tax ki actually people are they paying it or not they say that they that when you are swiping the credit card you have to pay 2.5% tax on the contrary you don't need to pay that tax and in fact you can जो एम आर पी होता है उसके ऊपर यू कैन आस्क फॉर एग्जामेशन जिस यूर यूजिंग योर क्रेडिट कार्ड एंड डेबिट कार्ड सो नेक्स्ट टाइम वेन यू गो आउट एंड यूज योर क्रेडिट कार्ड और डेबिट कार्ड यू शुड आस्क कि मतलब कितना इंसेंटिव है उनको मिल रहा है बिकॉज आर बी आई का अब इंस्ट्रक्शन है टू बैंक एंड बैंक आर द पीपल हु आर एक्चुअली मेनटेन दिस जो कार्ड स्वाइपिंग वाली मशीन होती हैं पॉस मशीन बोलते हैं उनको तो बैंक नाउ हैव अ पुश फ्रॉम आर बी आई दैट दे हैव टू इंसेंटिवाइज दी क्रेडिट कार्ड एंड डेबिट कार्ड ट्रांजेक्शन और आरबीआई को डंडा आता है ऊपर से मोदी जी से तो इसलिए जो है मतलब दीज थिंग्स हैव बीन इंसेंटिवाइज 2.5 परसेंट तक एंड इनफैक्ट अरुण जेटली द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर ही मेड एन अनाउंसमेंट दैट आफ्टर सम टाइम आफ्टर अ पर्टिकुलर वाइल्ड लाइफ लाइक यू कैन इंस्टेड ऑफ पेइंग दिस 2.5 परसेंट आई सी वन एक्चुअली क्लेम एग्जामेशन मतलब देयर बी अ मनी बैक दैट वी हैव बीन इन योर कार्ड if you are swiping uh, certain credit cards so again this uh, discount uh, thing is uh, government is claiming that using that and also there was a discussion that uh, that instead of you know uh, establishing atms so bank incurs a lot of cost any bank they incur a lot of cost in you know maintaining atms throughout the country theek hai matlab kai bari remote corners mein bhi inko karna padta hai so there was a talk ki tum uh, atm ka matlab hai cash ठीक है तो इंस्टेड अगर तुम्हें कैश की सर्कुलेशन कम करनी है तो जो तुम कॉस्ट अगर एक एटीएम में लगाने में तुम कर रहे हो ना उसकी जगह तुम यू गिव अवे इट एज अ डिस्काउंट टू क्रेडिट कार्ड होल्डर्स ठीक है क्रेडिट कार्ड या डेबिट कार्ड होल्डर्स जो हैं उनको स्वाइप करने के लिए तुम uh, वो डिस्काउंट जो है देना शुरू कर दो अगेन दिस वॉज दिस वॉज हाउ दे वॉन्टेड टू दिस वॉज अ डिस्काशन आई डोट नो एनी थिंग एज हैपेंड ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्रंट ऑफ नॉट बट Yeah, so this is how digitalization has been given an impetus uh, with the help of uh, demonetization, as what government is claiming. Um, and uh, another thing was, yeah, uh, real estate. Yeah, so real estate is a very big thing. So real estate को जो है hit हुआ है बहुत तरह तरह से अगर ऐसा था real real estate अब hit हो अगर क्या ना side से ऐसे रह गया. एक hit लगा demonetization का. ठीक है. एक हिट लगा जीएसटी का और एक हिट लगा है रेरा का तो डिमोनेटाइजेशन से क्या हुआ कि जो भी कैश में सर्कुलेशन था जो भी फ्रीली लोग इन्वेस्ट करते थे प्रॉपर्टीज वगैरह में और एक बार हिट लग रहा है बेनामी से ठीक है तो रियल स्टेट इज यू नो थिंग अंडर लॉर्ड ऑफ स्क्रूटिनी तो वट एवर कैश यूज टू अपन की अगर पहले अगर कुछ ए वन शेयर का आपने प्रॉपर्टी खरीदा तो उसमें फिफ्टी परसेंट इज गोइंग बाई कैश एंड फिफ्टी परसेंट इज गोइंग बाई चेक तो uh, डिमोनेटाइजेशन से कैश खत्म हो गया क्योंकि एवरीथिंग नाउ वट एवर ट्रांजेक्शन यू हैव टू डू इन वाइट जो तुम एक करोड़ रुपए तुम्हारे बैंक अकाउंट में जब तक होंगे नहीं तब तक यू कैनॉट 
रियली यू नो गो एड एंड बाय प्रॉपर्टी नाउ पहले तुम पचास पचास लाख जो है ब्लैक करके और खरीद सकते थे वन चेयर में अब जो है नहीं होगा ये चीज तो दैट हैज पुट यू नो लॉर्ड ऑफ फैशन ऑन रियल एस्टेट तो रियल एस्टेट ठंडा पड़ा हुआ जी एस टी जी एस टी का स्टेट में बोल रहे हैं कि जस्ट टू काउंटेड एज अ ट्रांजेक्शन बारह परसेंट जो है उसके टैक्स प्लान में कोई भी रियल एस्टेट ट्रांजेक्शन होगी एंड दिस बी एब्जॉर्बिंग स्टैम्प ड्यूटी ठीक है जो स्टैम्प ड्यूटी आप पे करते हैं जो आप कोर्ट में एग्रीमेंट करते हैं एंड उसकी वजह से जो लॉकों में स्टैम्प ड्यूटी बनती है सो दैट बी सब्ज्यूम्ड इन जी एस टी बट देन अगेन दिस विल बी अ पार्ट ऑफ यू नो प्रॉपर ट्रांजेक्शन क्योंकि जी एस टी का मतलब है कि आपका दैट पर्टिकुलर ट्रांजेक्शन विल बी काउंटेड यू नो एज इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स जो भी ट्रांजेक्शन होगी उसमें कुछ आपको इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स जो है पे करना पड़ेगा थ्रू जी एस टी बारह परसेंट की रेट पे सो दैट यू टू डू एंड देन देर इज दिस रियल एस्टेट रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी तो रेरा का बिल जो है दैट हैज बीन पास एंड यू नो लॉर्ड ऑफ दीज जे पी ने अभी रिसेंटली अपनी जमीन सेल करी है टू सो लॉर्ड ऑफ दिस यू मस्ट बी वेट यू नो पीपल मस्ट है बॉडी लॉर्ड ऑफ होम्स इन नोएडा एंड गुड़गांव एंड द डेवलपर्स जो बिल्डर्स थे उन्होंने दे डिड नॉट दे वर नॉट एबल टू यू नो गिव द जो भी आपका घर देना था उनको कि भाई प्रोजेक्ट इज रिलेटेड टू कम्प्लीट इन ट्वेंटी टेन और अभी तक हुआ नहीं है मतलब आई नो लॉर्ड ऑफ केसेज माई सेल्फ तो रेरा बिल ने अकाउंटेबिलिटी फिक्स करी है कि पहले क्या होता था कि दे यूज टू डाइवर्ट द फंड सो अगर एक उन्होंने प्रोजेक्ट स्टार्ट करा एंड वहाँ पे उन्होंने हंड्रेड सी आर रेस करा तो उसको सिर्फ फिफ्टी सी आर ही यूज करते थे उसके अंदर उस प्रोजेक्ट को बनाने के लिए बाकी फिफ्टी सी आर जो है डाइवर्ट कर देते थे इन एन यूअर प्रोजेक्ट ठीक है तो उससे क्या होता था कि जो एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोजेक्ट ही होता था वो कम्प्लीट नहीं होता था एंड देर वॉज नो अकाउंटेबिलिटी बिकॉज देर वॉज नो लॉ नाउ देर इज अ लॉ ठीक है ना देर इज इन फैक्ट रेरा अथॉरिटी एंड वॉट इट सेज इज इज समी वॉन्ट्स टू इन्वेस्ट इन से जे पी का प्रोजेक्ट अभी आम्रपाली वॉज ऑल्सो रिसेंटली अंडर स्क्रूटिनी वट दे सेज दे यू हैव टू मेक द ट्रांजेक्शन एंड यू हैव टू पुट इट इन एन एस्क्रो अकाउंट सो एस्क्रो अकाउंट एसेंशली मीन्स दैट एक न्यूट्रल अकाउंट मतलब यू हैव अ बायर यू हैव अ सेलर एंड यू हैव एन एस्क्रो अकाउंट तो जो बाय जो आपका सेलर है जो आपका बिल्डर है वो कैन ही कैन सो सेलर अगर ना पे Uh, only through the escrow account to the builder और उसमें यह रहेगा कि मतलब सेवेंटी परसेंट तक आपका लिमिट रहेगा कि सेवेंटी परसेंट तक बिफोर प्रोजेशन यू कैन पे टू दैट एंड एस्क्रो अकाउंट विल बी अगेन मेनटेन बाय रेरा ठीक है और मतलब गवर्नमेंट अपॉइंटेड कोई रहेगा जो कि एस्क्रो अकाउंट को मेनटेन करेगा एंड मतलब दैट पर्टिकुलर फंड जो कि एस्क्रो अकाउंट में जा रहा है दैट कैन बी ओनली यूटिलाइज बाय द बिल्डर टू बिल्ड दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रॉपर्टी ओनली तो एस्क्रो अकाउंट इज लाइक अ न्यूट्रल अकाउंट एंड दैट इंश्योर्स अकाउंटेबिलिटी हेयर बिकॉज पहले क्या हो रहा था कि ये लोग डायरेक्टली पे कर रहे थे तो डायरेक्टली पे करने में ये हो रहा था कि लॉर्ड ऑफ दंड वो गेटिंग डाइवर्टेड बाय द बिल्डर बट नाउ एस्क्रो अकाउंट से तभी विड्रॉ कर सकता है वो बंदा जब तक वो एक सर्टन मतलब अगर वो फिफ्टी परसेंट उसने प्रोजेक्ट को कम्प्लीट करा तो वो तभी फिफ्टी परसेंट जो है विड्रॉ कर सकता है इसमें से मतलब उसको अब नाउ इज बिकम अकाउंटेबल एंड जे पी ग्रुप दैट्स वाई ही हैड टू सेल अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यू नो जो आपका यमुना एक्सप्रेस वे के अलॉन्ग साइड देवर लॉर्ड ऑफ लैंड दैट जी पी हैड टू रिसेंटली सेल ऑफ फॉर आई थिंक अराउंड ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड क्रॉस बिकॉज बिकॉज दे डेंट हैव दैट मच मनी टू कम्प्लीट देर एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड देवर देवर गिवन अ डेड लाइन कि भाई दो हज़ार बाईस तक ये सारे प्रोजेक्ट्स कम्प्लीट करने हैं तुम्हें दो हज़ार दस तक करने थे दो हज़ार उन्नीस भी आने वाली है दो हज़ार बाईस तक तुम्हें डिफरेंट फेजेज में कम्प्लीट करने सेम इज द केस इज आम्रपाली ग्रुप एज वेल सो नाउ वी के नॉट विड्रॉ द मनी टिल द टाइम दे हैव सर्टन परसेंटेज ऑफ दी प्रोजेक्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर बिल्डिंग रेडी सो दैट्स हाउ यू नो रियल एस्टेट हैज बीन हिट वेरी बैड एंड नाउ द बीनामी ट्रांजेक्शन जो अब बीनामी एक्ट आ गया है उससे वट इज आर्निंग इज सपोज सपोज यू हैड सपोज सपोज आई हैड फाइव प्रॉपर्टीज ठीक है एक मैंने अपने मॉम के नाम पर खरीद ली एक अपने भाई के नाम पर एक सिस्टर के नाम पर एक अपने नाम पर एक अपने अपने पेट के नाम पर ठीक है तो अब अब जो है नाउ ऑल दोज प्रॉपर्टीज कैन बी सीज बाय दी गवर्नमेंट ठीक है और मेरे नाम पे जो रहेगा फिर वही रह जाएगा एक ही रह जाएगा तो अगर मैंने इलीगली कहीं से पैसे कमाए थे एंड इफ आई इन्वेस्टेड दैट इनटू फोर डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज अगर मैंने अपने वाइफ और बच्चे के नाम पे कराया तब तो इट इज फाइन ठीक है तब वो बिना भी उसमें नहीं काउंट होगा बट लाइक आई डोंट है वाइफ आई डोंट है तो इफ सपोज आई हैव फाइव प्रॉपर्टीज एंड इन दैट केस ऑल दोज फोर एक्सेप्ट माई जो मैंने अपने लिए खरीदी हुई है बाकी सारे जो है दैट कैन बी सीज बाई
lot because people are not able to buy now uh, anything. Okay, and that is because uh, demonetization hit okay, GFT hit okay, Rera hit okay, and Binami up transaction hit kar hai. So real estate has been hit very bad. But yeah, matlab, it was you know not a very good thing because uh, many people suffer kar rahe the, uh, real estate usme, uh, sector mein, and the uh, builders and everybody was, who were making a lot of money. Now everything is more regulated and you know it is under a lot of scrutiny. So in a way that is good. Now, uh, what are the negatives? So definitely, matlab, negatives ki to, matlab, there is a long list of uh, demonetization. Negatives were quite a lot. First of all, definitely it hindered the uh, money circulation. Money circulation was affected big time. Uh, overnight, the liquidity the economy ki, that went really bad. And uh, even RBI had a hard time to, RBI usually controls the liquidity in the economy. So RBI had a hard time in, uh, in regulating the uh, liquidity. So the money circulation definitely was, this affected a lot the informal sector. Informal sector, mein, there were a lot of job cuts because uh, everything used to happen in cash. And uh, once there was no cash, then no salaries. And accordingly, business done to salary then to salaries were gone and uh, you know there was a lot of job cuts. And uh, you know, had there been a country like US where such a thing would have happened, suppose. And job cuts hota. job cuts hota toh, production by factor than recession in the economy. You know, India survived because uh, you know there was still a sizable formal sector here and uh, because of initiatives like the 7th uh, Central Pay Commission or basically uh, things like uh, aapka private sector, ka jo hai, the, you know, people like me who are working with, you know, foreign companies and uh, who pay their taxes and who have a certain portion of demand coming in. Matlab, hum do weekend ka ja kar ke picture ya phir, uh, restaurant ja kar ke hai, hai? Toh, that way, uh, you know, we keep the businesses going in a way. So private sector was still, you know, uh, robust. In a way, though the job market is very stagnant right now, but still, uh, you know, formal uh, sector jo tha, uski se thoda baj gaya. But an informal sector, essentially, our manufacturing thi, that suffered a lot. And a uh, lot of job cuts uh, were seen in the manufacturing sector, especially the small and medium enterprises. So that's why in Budget 2018, you, you have seen that, you know, there, is a there are a lot of special provisions for the SME sector because uh, they suffered a lot because of demonetization and now when the election year is coming, so 2019 they want to, government wants to, you know, push them and wants to extend them a lot of credit through uh, through schemes like Mudra Yojana. Mudra Yojana get through, uh, you must read about Mudra Yojana, it's a very small scheme, but it is very powerful because, um, uh, because uh, a lot of people are able to get loans uh, because of the Mudra Yojana, so you should read about it. I'll discuss it. And uh, definitely the GDP has taken a hit. We did discuss in the first class why GDP is important in the second class. I think GDP has a direct bearing on the jobs and the people who are living below poverty. So every percentage point, 1% uh, increase in GDP growth will mean that some million people, mother, kuch karol log jo hai, will be lifted out of poverty. So GDP definitely was hit. Uh, banking sector had a lot of problems. The uh, bank deposits have in a way go, gone up. So that is a good thing. But then uh, the biggest thing was the currency. So currency, it was expected that a uh, lot of currency will come back, but then that has not happened. 99% of currency, a lot of currency will not come back. So that was initially the anticipation of the government. That's what they said. But 99% of the currency has, uh, more than 99% of the currency has come back to RBI. These are official statements of RBI that uh, demonetization, that's why it was not really successful. So you can always talk about these positive things and negative things when you talk about demonetization. So uh, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so these are essentially the positive and negative aspects. So when you can, if demonetization, anybody asks you what happened, so you can talk about, you know, stuff like this. Kya, what was the rationale initially? 
ठीक है वाई डिड डिमोनेटाइजेशन हैपन सो यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट कंट्री करेंसी यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट ब्लैक मनी यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट करप्शन यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट यू नो हवाला एंड ऑल दीस थिंग्स इन सबको कंट्रोल करने के लिए टेरर टेरर फाइनेंसिंग जो उसको कंट्रोल करने के लिए देन यू कैन टॉक अबाउट कि क्या-क्या हुआ था एंड व्हाट ऑल हैपेंड व्हाट ऑल हार्डशिप्स पीपल हैड टू फेस एंड देन यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द मिसमैनेजमेंट एंड वंस द मिसमैनेज वंस द thing is over now we are beginning to see the impacts so you can see uh, the positive side of it as well ki bhai aapke taxes wagaire jo hain zyada aane shuru ho gaye hain there is a certain population of people who are not paying taxes or not, who are not regularly paying taxes or tax compliance is increased tax uh, people who are paying taxes they are, they are like they have increased in number and instead of you know people paying uh, taxes all of a sudden now they will be more forthcoming to pay taxes because because of such events ki matlab and then uh, you can talk about the impact on uh, you know all these sectors ki real estate mein problem thi bahut zyada and demonetization ki wajah se now it is under control and whatever factors you discuss you can talk about that and you have to discuss about the negative aspects and in the end you can talk about your own opinion so that's how i see it that you can always based on whatever points you have highlighted we can always say that uh, in the end uh, could have been a very good thing but then it was it is not able to meet its, uh, its objectives to be terrorism still continues and uh, counterfeit currency jo hai wo do it would have come down uh, at that time but then uh, we still cannot say ki matlab abhi uska kya status hai as well as uh, you know 99% of the currency has come back to rbi so demonetization really did not you know so the purpose for which it was meant for ठीक है एनी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू डी मॉनिटाइजेशन एनीथिंग एल्स अदरवाइज वी कैन क्लोज इट फॉर टुडे क्वेश्चन ओके देन आई थिंक वी आर गुड फॉर टुडे वी कैन स्टॉप दिस सेशन हेयर एंड इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन वी विल कंटिन्यू विद आवर नेशनल इनकम अकाउंटिंग जीडीपी and uh, even other things like gdp ke baad inflation and uh, fdi mere ko wo discuss karne hai teen cheez hum theek hai and then we'll uh, move something uh, towards uh, polity humne polity thoda sa discuss karna hoga because i think that is also very important to ye sab main i'm trying ki next week tak thoda ho jaye so that you are by the end of next week you are more comfortable you know polity mein jaise you have this <coughs> parliament and you know a lot of elections coming up to उसका बेसिक जो है थोड़ा पता रहना चाहिए पार्लियामेंट क्या है राज्यसभा इलेक्शंस हुए वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इट इन द फर्स्ट क्लास प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्शंस एंड दे कैन बी आस्क्ड इन द इंटरव्यू मतलब ब्रीफली अबर एटलीस्ट पता होना चाहिए जस्ट फॉर कॉन्फिडेंस सेक तो वी विल टच ऑन दैट एज़ वेल बट वंस आई कंप्लीट द जीडीपी थिंग एंड यू नो दिस थिंग जीडीपी इन्फ्लेशन एंड दिस थिंग एटीआई माय फोन नंबर इज दिस मी and uh, goodbye for now good night take care